Ah, good day, guys. How you going? Just running off another batch of CDs. Another weekend, another nightclub. Um, today, I want to talk about content. What you should actually put on your CD as a demo. I've had a couple of questions, but before we get into that, just a quick update. Really, I've only been looking for about three weeks. People keep asking me, "How you going? How you going?" You got to remember. These nightclub jobs are not advertised. You can't just walk into a place. They've all got DJs, so you have to prove to them that you're better than anyone else, that you're willing to help uh, the cause. So it's going to take time. Most places book their DJs like three months in advance. So these things don't happen overnight. All right? Now, uh, new CD, a couple of changes. I decided. Uh, to change the uh, cover art for this lot of CDs. And inside, beautiful. Now, I've actually put a track list on there this time. Last time I didn't put a track list, but I think that might be worthwhile. Um, just in case they don't even listen to your CD, at least they can look down the track list and see what sort of music you're playing. So I've put a track list on there this time, and of course the contact details and all the rest of it. So um, that's what's going out to my clubs this weekend. Now, what should you put on your demo? How long should it be? These are the questions I'm getting asked. Well, my theory is, this is just what I've done, you know, I don't say this is the perfect demo CD by any stretch of the imagination, but basically, it should go for at least an hour. And remember, you've got, what, 80 minutes on a CD? So if you want to stretch it out to 80 minutes, give them a full CD of uh, content. Not too short. Don't do a demo for like 20 minutes. So at least an hour. So at least an hour of music. Um, the other thing is, don't try and educate the promoters and managers. You know what I mean by that? Like, trying to find the next best thing, the next hit, basically play the hits, okay? Whatever genre you're in, play the hits at that moment, you know, whatever's in the charts, um, play that. And remember, you've got a whole hour, so you've got maybe 12, 15 songs, so what I would do, or what I did, was um, maybe pick one or two new songs that you think are going to be hits um, that sort of shows that no, oh, yeah this DJ knows what he's talking about and maybe they haven't heard of those songs and they like it and they want to know what song it is it lets them know that yep this DJ he knows what he's doing as far as picking new songs also don't be afraid to put an old song in there just one classic just try and mix one classic in there like again you know it doesn't have to be like summer of 69 or something but just a classic dance track from two three four five years ago you know it doesn't have to be too old but just some sort of a classic so again they hear it and they think hey this DJ this was a big hit three or four years ago he knows what he's doing he's been DJing for a while you know what I mean they're not gonna expect it so what else I've been really excited by people giving tips at the bottom of these videos. Um, so if you've got any suggestions on um, the perfect demo CD, let people know. That's what it's all about. DJs helping DJs. As long as that DJ is not in the same city as you are and competing for the same job. There's not too many nightclub DJs watching my videos in Melbourne, I can tell you that. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, so that's it uh, for demo CDs. I don't know what else I can tell you about them. I'm probably, I'll probably think of something as soon as I turn this camera off. I knew there was something I forgot. I told you I would. As soon as I uh, watched the video back, I remembered a couple of things. A um, couple of questions. Uh, burn quality, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I recorded it in WAVE and I'm burning it onto CD in WAVE. That is obviously the best quality. Uh, a lot of people can't tell the difference between 320 bit and wave. Um, you know, the general public probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but if you listen to it really closely, 
Um, you know, the Wave obviously is the original form, so it sounds a lot fuller, a bit chunkier, maybe just a little bit better in the high end. So if you've got the facilities, burn it as best as you can, uh, using the slowest speed you can, best quality. The other thing I remembered is, this is a mistake a lot of the young DJs make, especially with trance, you know, the faster trance goes for 140 beats per minute and uh, kids make the mistake of just banging away for an hour, 140 beats, bang, 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 just banging away. It's just monotone. And I think Jonathan's done a few videos on building a set, okay? You've got to make it ebb and flow. With mine, I start off at 132 beats, work my way down to 128, work my way back to 140, and back down again to 132. So basically the peak of the CD is about three quarters of the way through, and then it comes down again. So it's a, it's a ride, it's a nice little ride. And if you can't do that, like whatever genre you're playing, if it's all, you know, like hard style, I suppose, it's all 145 beats a minute, try and do it with key rather than, than the speed. Um, but I think that covers it, all right? Uh, if anyone's doing demos and sending them to nightclubs and you want me to have a listen to it, I will. Just send me a message and I'll download it and have a listen. All right, that's it. Practice and enjoy.